What's up everybody? I'm the Bentist and we're back with another YouTube video. In today's video, we have a special sponsor, Blackwater, and they wanted us to go through and figure out what drinks exactly are healthy for your teeth. Are they going to damage them? Are they not? Maybe something like milk, coffee, orange juice. You don't know what they are, but maybe you didn't realize how bad they really might be for your teeth. Well, today we're going to find out. All right, here we go. Hey, his name's Ben too. That's me. I guess I am. So there's an urban myth, if you will, so and urban. let's assume that you did, that soda can dissolve a tooth overnight. The internet has thoroughly busted this, but just because it's proven that hanging on to a mouthful of cola for upwards of 12 hours won't hollow out your jaw, it doesn't mean that you should try it. Soft drinks can indeed damage those pearly whites of yours, but how and how much? Now that's great. Now he's basically going straight out of the gate, telling you something that I've been telling you guys for years, and that's actually sodas are really bad for your teeth. Even though it seems like they're fun to drink and everything, and I'm not gonna lie, I have sodas too, guys. Don't worry about it. But that being said, they are really bad, and you need to know why and how you can prevent it. So let's keep going. Let's talk teeth. Let's talk teeth. Your teeth have four basic four layers. Basic There's layers. the root, the pulp, the dentin protecting the pulp, and the enamel. Tooth enamel is the hardest tissue the human body produces. But unlike your bones, enamel is not a living tissue. True. You're actually, your enamel is not a living tissue. It is something that is completely kind of dormant on the outside. It's like a shell. So even though enamel is the hardest substance in the human body, it is actually one of the only substances that can't repair itself. Unfortunate, I know. Because it's not alive, it's not it alive. can't repair itself. Okay. There, there are two go. types of itself. trouble there that drinks can cause. Drinks. An all over erosion due to the acid drinks yep. contain and spot decay caused by the bacteria True. that grow on your teeth. Now that's a really important thing to say. There is two different ways that you can really ruin your teeth. One is by cavities, sugar, stuff like that. And the other is by pH driven erosion, by acidic drinks, things like that all of the above. Let's see what he talks about. It's come down to a pH, imbalance. To pH imbalance. On a scale of zero to xenomorph, uh, the human Xenomorph. mouth has a pretty neutral pH level, something around 6.8. Yep, right around seven, uh, yep. The pH scale itself runs from zero to 14, with zero being the most acidic, 14 being the most base or alkaline, and seven being neutral. It's like pure water. Perfect. Some of the bacteria in your mouth are sugar hungry. So when you consume sweet stuff like soda, they throw the bacterial equivalent of a house party. And while they do it, they excrete acids, which can weaken your enamel wherever they're hunkered down, eventually causing cavities. So there you go. That's how cavities are formed. He said it really well. That sugary drink that you're, you're drinking and eating and everything, those sugar love that acidic environment because that's what they produce. So they eat on that sugar, they sit on the teeth, they produce the acid, and if it's left long enough without you, you know, correcting it with fluoride, brushing your teeth, keeping your mouth clean, it's gonna overall eat away at that tooth until it gets into the soft dentin layer and starts eating away, causing a cavity. Yeah, but Ben, you might say, I only drink sugar-free sodas, so Ooh, this you know, is a good point. Uh, that'll save you from up. cavities, but all sodas contain acids of their own. That's true. On a pH scale, soft drinks have been found to range from around 4 to 2.4. For comparison, battery acid is a 1. So now that we know that diet sodas can be as low as 2.4 pH, with close to being a battery acid at 1 pH, Blackwater actually challenged me to take a look at some different drinks and see how they compare to themselves. Okay, so now that we know that the mouse pH is 6.8 and really anything under about 5.5 is technically bad for you, let's go through some common household drinks that you would probably think. One of the first things that I would think a lot of people use is sports drinks. Now this one you might recognize. The pH of this drink actually ends up being 3.1. Sports drinks are very, very common at being highly acidic and terribly for your teeth, even if there's zero sugar. Now another thing you might think is really, really important is some OJ in the morning. Orange juice actually tested at 3.4 pH really bad for you. That's another common thing that a lot of people don't think about is citrus fruits and everything in general can actually cause erosion. Yeah, it happens. 
Obviously, we know that certain sodas can come in at 2.4 and 2.3, but did you know that vinegar, vinegar is only 2.2? So basically, every time you drink a Coke, a Pepsi, a soda, or anything like that, you're basically drinking something as harmful as pure vinegar. Crazy. But that doesn't mean that all drinks are actually bad for you. We looked at drinks like black coffee, which has a pH of about 5, and after you add the creamers and dairy, it actually brings it up to a safe 5.5 or 6. That being said, Milk. Milk actually has a pH of 6.4, so it's actually good, which is one of the reasons why if you lose a tooth, you actually put your tooth in some milk until you can go to a dentist and get it put back in. Another drink that we're going to talk about that's healthy is water. Now, obviously, you have regular water that is a 7 pH, which is great. But in, then we also have soda water, which if you did not know, the carbon dioxide actually brings down the pH, making soda water 5.1, making it actually slightly harmful to your teeth. So sorry for all my sparkling water fans out there, but just stick to flat water. And now that brings us to the sponsor of our video, Blackwater. Now, the sponsor of our video, Blackwater, actually came in at a pH of 8, making it actually slightly better than traditional water. Now you're saying, Bentis, why is black water black? Well, that's really interesting, so let's get into it. The reason why black water is actually black is because of the trace minerals in it. It actually has fulvic minerals, anti-inflammatory and super nutrients to boost your digestive health, immune system, detox, and replenish your body for optimal health. It's crazy. It also has some amino acids, it has antioxidants, and it actually has electrolytes to charge the hydration muscle function and regulate your body's pH now that being said I made a couple YouTube shorts and TikToks about black water before and I get a couple questions from you guys constantly and the two questions are does it really taste like water and two does it stain your teeth so let's find out it is a little weird that it's black but let's go ahead and taste it it literally tastes just like water. I don't really know how to explain it. The fulvic minerals making it black does definitely make it a little funky, but it actually tastes really good, just like basic clean water. Now, the other question you guys obviously have is, will it stain my teeth? And I can assure you that we've talked to black water, and because of the fulvic minerals actually being the cause of the blackness of the water, it actually does not stain your teeth. So it's actually just good, healthy water. Now, back to the video. Now your saliva should bring your mouth back to normal within half an hour or so. Actually, that is so true. Your saliva actually will bring your pH back to normal even if you eat or drink something acidic. So that's one of the reasons why I tell you guys don't brush immediately after you eat and drink. You should wait about 30 minutes to an hour for your teeth to kind of remineralize and go back to the normal structure before you go wiping away this weak tooth structure from the acid. But your enamel can be affected by your anything from about a 5.5 or below. And we talked about that. The erosion and below. decay caused by chronic soda consumption can be rampant. And yes, that's the official medical term. And that's funny, it says it's rampant caries. And we actually have a specific phrase in the dental community called Mountain Dew Mouth. And it's a terrible ad read for Mountain Dew. But actually, people that drink a ton of Mountain Dew because it's super sugary and super low in the pH would actually come in as kids and they would have rampant, meaning everywhere. They would have cavities everywhere just because they drank a ton of Mountain Dew. And that's one of the reasons why we started looking into pH and cavities and sugar and everything else. In one case study, soda abuse was found to do dental damage equivalent to that of meth or crack cocaine. Meth or crack cocaine! I actually believe it. And that Mountain Dew mouth looks so bad. You could honestly, if it wasn't just a kid hyped up on Mountain Dew, you could believe that maybe meth or crack or something like that was causing it. It's crazy. Now, dentists recommend using straws perfect. and rinsing with water after drinking any acidic or sugary beverage. They also stress brushing twice a day with fluoride or remineralizing products to help maintain your enamel. It can't heal itself from inside the way that your bones do, but the mineral structure can be buffeted from the outside. That was actually really good. Those are some great advices. So if you're asking like, well, I still obviously am gonna drink soda. I'm still obviously gonna have a sports drink every now and then. How can I prevent it from causing more damage? Well, straws are great because it doesn't allow direct content. Another thing is, is drink it fast. Don't sip on it all day long. So it's just bathing your teeth with it. And another thing is just making sure to rinse your mouth out with water or black water if you want to, to raise the pH of your mouth. And that will let your teeth get back to a normal position where it won't actually cause any harm anymore. 
So there you guys go. Now you know exactly what to watch out for with your eating and drinking to make sure your teeth stay as safe as possible. And thank you again to Blackwater for the sponsor. And I appreciate you guys helping educate other people on teeth and keeping themselves healthy. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell, and stay up to date with what we're doing. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you. Thank you so much. I'm the Bentus. Till next time, I'll see you later. Peace.